Hello friends, this video straight lines part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight lines part 1 and 2. Now let's understand angles between two lines. So if we are to find the angle between two lines, then we can say tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. Very simple, we did nothing here. If this is alpha 2, this will become 180 minus alpha 2, correct? Because this is a straight line. This is theta, so this also becomes theta, vertical angles. We will add all these angles of this triangle, what we get? Alpha 1 plus theta plus 180 minus alpha 2 is equal to 180 degree, correct? 180, 180 cancel. So what we get is theta is nothing but alpha 2 minus alpha 1. This is our first equation. Theta is equal to alpha 2 minus alpha 1. Similarly, let us find phi. We can find phi also. So phi is equal to 180 degree minus theta. Phi is equal to 180 degree minus theta. So this, is, this is a straight line. This is theta. This is this theta is phi, theta plus phi is equal to 180. So we can say phi is equal to 180 minus theta. These two equations we have. So if we consider these two lines L1 and L2, they make two angles. One angle is theta, if you take this side, and the other angle is phi. This angle is also theta, and this angle is also phi. So we can say there are two distinct angles made by these two lines. So what our answer will be tan theta. So we can say the angle between these two lines will be either tan theta or tan phi. These are the two angles made by these two lines. So now we have to find tan theta and tan phi. So from equation 1 we have theta is equal to phi 2 minus phi 1 or we can say tan theta is equal to tan of phi 2 minus phi 1 and this is equal to tan of phi 2 alpha 2 minus tan of alpha 1 by 1 plus tan of alpha 1 into tan of alpha 2. We have read this in trigonometry chapter. This is 1, this is 2. tan of alpha 2 minus tan of alpha 1 by 1 plus tan of alpha 1 into tan of alpha 2. So now we can say that tan of alpha 2 is nothing but m2, slope of line 2, tan of alpha 1 is nothing but m1 and this is again m1 and this is m2. So this is tan of theta. Now similarly we have to find tan of phi is nothing but tan of 180 degree minus theta. Why like this? Because phi is equal to 180 minus theta. So we say, we say tan of phi is equal to tan of 180 minus theta. This is nothing but minus of tan theta. So we know that it is minus tan theta. So it is nothing but minus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. So we have theta is either, I mean the angle between the line, two lines is either m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m2, m1 m2 or minus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. So we can write a general equation that tan theta, it can be any theta, theta or phi is equal to mod of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2. Please note mod is important here. This is the value. We will take one example of angle between lines. The question says if angle between two lines is pi by 4 and the slope of one line is 1 by 2, find the slope of other line. Let me draw the lines now. This is one line. This is one line. So we have two lines. Let's suppose this slope is equal to 1 by 2. And this slope is 
m dash not given and the angle between these lines are pi by 4 so we have to find the value so we know already know that tan of theta is nothing but mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 correct so or we can say theta is equal to pi by 4 so we are told that tan of pi by 4 is nothing but mod of we will say this is m dash m dash minus 1 by 2 this is m2 we will say and this is 1 plus m into 1 by 2 I will say m dash because here m dash and here is equal to 1 by 2 if this is m2 or this is m1 I will say correct now this is mod and tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 right if you remove the mod what we get is two condition that is either m dash minus 1 by 2 by 1 plus m dash by 2 is equal to 1 or m dash minus 1 by 2 by 1 plus m dash by 2 is equal to minus 1. Since we have removed the verb mod, so this is either minus 1 or plus 1. So we have two cases here. So we will solve this case first. So this become m dash minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 plus m dash by 2. Or we get m dash by 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2. Or we get m dash is equal to 3. This is the first part. Second part we will do here. So here we will get m dash minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus m dash by 2 is equal to 0. Since this is minus 1, this will become minus of this. So we will add this, we will take it here. So this becomes 3 m dash by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 or m dash is equal to minus 1 by 3. So we have two values of m dash that is 3 or minus 1 by 3. So the slope of other line is either 3 or minus 1 by 3. This is the answer. The slope of the other line that is m dash is equal to 3 or minus 1 by 3. Very simple what we have done. We have just used the formula tan theta is equal to mod. Please note mod is very crucial here tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. We have used theta is equal to pi by 4, m2 is equal to 1 by 2 and we have solved to get m dash. So we got two values of m dash, m dash is equal to 3 or minus 1 by 3. One more point to note here is when you remove mod, you say this is equal to plus 1 or minus 1. So this was 1, so it became plus 1 or minus 1. So remove mod, RHS become plus 1 and minus 1 or plus the value and minus the value. In this question we are asked to find the angle between line 1 and line 2. So if you want to find the angle let's find the slope. So let's convert this into slope form. First equation we can say y is equal to minus root 3x minus plus 5. So the slope form equation is of this form y is equal to mx plus c. So if you compare this with this we get m is equal to root 3. First equation. For second equation we have root 3 y is equal to x minus 6. We have put in this fashion. We will divide by root 3 whole equations. Left hand side, right hand side both. So we get y is equal to minus 1 by root 3 or so plus 1 by root 3 x minus 6 by root 3. So here this is m1 this is m2. So here m2 is nothing but plus 1 by root 3. So we have got slopes of both the line. What we have done, we have just converted both the general form of line into normal form to get the slopes. So we found that slope of first line is root 3. That's equation 1. And slope of second line is 1 by root 3. Now we have to find the angle between these two lines. So we know that if there are two lines, this is m1 and this is m2 and this is the angle theta theta between uh, these lines. So we know that tan theta 
is nothing but or 10 pi I have written is nothing but mod of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 m2 please note mod is very crucial here because we are talking about we can consider this phi or this theta we can take any angle so this mod is very important here so this becomes mod of 1 by root 3 minus root 3 by 1 plus root 3 into 1 by root 3 and what you get here is if you solve this this becomes uh, 1 minus 3 by root 3 by 1 plus 1 so this becomes mod of this this becomes um, positive value will take so this becomes we solve this mod of minus 2 by root 3 by 2 2 to cancel this becomes 1 by root 3 so this is the value we got tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 and we know that tan of 30 degrees is equal to 1 by root 3 so we can say that in fact we will say mod of this mod of 1 by root 3 so tan theta is equal to this is case 1 there are two case case 1 tan theta uh, theta is equal to 1 by root 3 and case 2 is tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 we have two cases actually root 3 1 by, minus 1 by root 3 so in first case when you say tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 we get theta is equal to 30 degree in this case when you say tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 we get theta is equal to 150 degree this is mod here so we have two cases tan theta is equal to plus 1 by root 3 or tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 in case tan theta is equal to plus 1 by root 3 we get theta is equal to 30 degree in case tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 we get theta is equal to 150 degree so what we have done here we have found the slope of both the equations we have used the formula tan theta is equal to mod please note mod is important mod of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m2 we get the value as mod of 1 by root 3 so we got two cases case 1 tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 case 2 tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 we solved both the cases to get the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again